Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review. This afternoon I am reviewing the film G-Force. Now this is a 2009 live action comedy adventure film uh, which received mixed reviews to negative reviews from critics. Currently holds a 5.1 out of 10 on IMDb, 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, 41% uh, on Metacritic, 84% uh, on Google, and Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave it 2.5 out of 4 stars. Now, this film was directed by Hoyt Eatman and written by Carmack and Marion Warberly. It had a $152 million budget and it made just under $293 million at the box office, making it a minor success. Um, this film's soundtrack is is very good um, and the, the voice cast and the live action cast is really good as well. Well this film stars Bill Niley, Zach Galifianakis, Nicolas Cage, Penelope Cruz, Sam Rockwell, Tracy Morgan, Steve Buscemi, uh, John Favreau, Will Arnett, and D. Bradley Baker. Uh, basically, this film is about a group of guinea pigs known as the G-Force, and they're out to save the world uh, from machines destroying the Earth and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much the gist of the movie. It's, it's an hour and a half. It's not uh, drawn out in any way. It is predictable um, in some instances. But uh, overall, this is an enjoyable film, in my opinion. Uh, it's not a great film by any means. Uh, but I like what they did here. This is a target audience, more so for kids. And uh, uh, it, it, it's a good film. It's a solid film, in my opinion. Um, I enjoy films, the live action ones especially. You know, Your Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I did not like Cinderella. Uh, the 2015 film but overall these live action films are, are pretty good um, don't know yet if there's been any sequels to this film but I hope not I kind of hope they just stick with the one film and don't uh, blow it up and uh, just run it into the ground but uh, yeah the direction the uh, special effects were really good the humor was funny uh, of course there's a lot of flatulence in the in the film but Nevertheless, it, it was funny and enjoyable, and one film I could definitely recommend uh, if you haven't already seen it, but uh, with that being said, I'm going to give the film G-Force a 7 out of 10. It's, it's a very good film. It's nothing great. Uh, it's definitely not the best live action film I've seen, but still an enjoyable film I think kids would enjoy too. Like I said, if they haven't already seen it. Um, but yeah, for what it was, I, I enjoyed it. So, in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about this bit, uh, this uh, movie, G Force. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, and let me know what your favorite live action film is. For me, right now, I really enjoyed uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, even though the animated film was a little bit better, I still enjoyed this live action film. And I've seen it about half a dozen times, and it is enjoyable. So, uh, but other than that, I thank you guys for watching this movie review, and I will see you next time at my next movie review, which is probably going to be the film uh, Mission Impossible. Nope, the film will be The Lucky Ones with Rachel McAdams and Tim Robbins from 2008. So till then, I thank you for watching this movie review, and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Check you later.